Welcome back. I'm sitting here with Sherlyn Obrowski. She is the author of two novels, which are actually one novel, just in two parts, part one and part two. And we were talking before the break about the story and how it's obviously very personal, both with you and your daughters. Uh, when you showed it to them for the first time, or they read it for the first time, what was their reaction? They were nervous. They um, worried about the, the outcome of the story. And actually, I write it in the first part of the book, you know, not to worry and that I'm, I'm, expe I'm not expecting anything, but I'm hoping that somebody gets something out of it and that these stories about courage, strength, and it's about Ivy and uh, triumphing the hard life. And what do you hope readers get out of it? That to be strong and that where you come from doesn't have to define you in as an adult. And what was it like for you um, when you saw it um, finished with the cover and the title and it's all put together? What was that feeling for it you? Was, it was wonderful. I, I couldn't believe, like, it felt so good. It was, it was an accomplishment alone. And, it, you know, even with when this one was done and I got the second one, I was still just as excited as it was for <laughs> with the first one. <laughs> and what was the publishing process like for you? Like, once you had it written, where did you go from there? When I had it written and it sat in my computer for a time, I, I was unemployed at the time and I, I didn't know what to do and I didn't want to go through the process again and I was just at a, at a low at that time. And so I, what I did was I decided it was time to see if I could get Ivy read by a publisher and I found Ink Water Press. And he read it and he said he liked it. And it went from there. Then they designed, the, 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 that's, this is their design, and the story is mine. I own the story, they own the design. And when it was all done and put together, uh, did you go on tour, or how did you share this story? I, so far, have just been phoning and uh, word of mouth right now, and that's what I've been working. This is my first real live <laughs> beyond that point. Oh, we're glad to have yes, you. Yes, <laughs> thank and you. And this is obviously an incredible story, um, definitely with all the Métis heritage and everything in our country, and it's such an important story to tell. Um, what do you hope happens with the book? Like, do you want it put in schools, or? I would like to see it in schools. That one has Catholic, um, my because I, w I went to Catholic school, and so there's a touch of that, and so yes, I would like to see it in school. It does uh, go into her uh, a lot more in the school setting, although it also goes back and forth, but you have to read that to find out how. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you say is the strongest message? Because there's a lot, a lot to get out of this book. Yes, there is. The strongest me message is that you can overcome a lot, even if you're going through a lot. And with Ivy at 17, she she goes through more than she did when she was nine because she was able to fantasize life away. When you're, when you're young, you're able to play it away. At 17, she can't play it away anymore because now she has to face the harsh realities of her real life because now she sees that as an more of an, she's a maturing person. So she's seeing it really as what it really is. And so that becomes a hard thing for her, but she's able to triumph and, and fight and continue to Was progress. that something that you went through as well when you were younger? Yes, but, but I, I'm, they're similar. That I would, that's why it was easy for me to write is because I was able to create it because I knew what I was writing about. It made it a lot easier, and I was told, if you ever want to write, write from something you know. Yeah, for sure. Yes. <laughs> and you had mentioned earlier that your daughters were going through the stereotypes and everything in school. Do you think that's still an issue these days? I'm hoping not. I didn't know it was an issue, and they, they, they weren't so much, they didn't go through it so much hard, but it was hard on them to hear it, s more so than, because they became more ashamed, and I don't want that to be, still to be something because I, that's how I felt when I was young. And so I'd like to break that if we can and I'm hoping that it'll, it, we will get past that. And there is, there's a lot of bullying in this story more so than it is like 
there's a mixture, so it, because th that also exists, and I would like, if we can have this, s I'd like to give these story away in, t in order to promote against bullying. So other people can get things yes. out of them as well. Yes. Did your daughters, did it help them at all, reading this story? I, they only read, th they haven't re received this one yet. It's coming out next month. I oh, it hasn't been released yet. No. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually released <laughs> next month. Oh, so we have kind of the and sneak peek here. Yes, and this one is only available at the moment, or you can order it at any bookstore, Chapters, Kohl's, but uh, it is on Kohl's online uh, or Indigo online, but um, that one is not available yet through them because this one, that one, they don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on right now then? You have I'm a new going book coming to work out very on one, Yes, next year, and it'll be the final chapter of Ivy. Oh, a third one? Yes. Oh, very nice. And, and I probably won't write another one like this. It'll be my one and only, and then I'm going to something different because I don't want to end up turning it into an autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing either. <laughs> no, but I, I didn't want to go there. I, if somebody ever wanted to do a biography, I think I'd let somebody else do my story. I, I don't want to do no. it. <laughs> so I'm going to nod because it, this was already too close to home. Yeah. So, yeah. So well, it sounds a wonderful story, and I want to thank you so thank much for you. being our guest today. And when we come back, we'll have more around the region.